Um, let's see. I think we got the one. Oh, that's where Jesus. Is. That's a textual issue, whether we lied or not. Here's one. Uh, in Acts 13, 33, and in Psalms 2, 7, it's talking uh, about the resurrection of Christ. And he says, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And if you look at the context, it's talking about the resurrection of Christ. Right. And then he said, he's the first begotten from the dead. Yeah. And he's the firstborn mm -hmm. from the dead. Yeah. Okay, well, that's your King James Bible. But you get in your NIV and your net, and they say, You are my son, today I have become your father. Whoa. Well, that means there was a day when he wasn't his father, right? Right. And the Jehovah Witness Bible reads just like this. And they use that as a proof, a proof text. text that Jesus Christ is not eternal God. Yes. I don't blame them. I'd use it as a proof text, too, yeah. if I was a Jehovah's Witness. That's a honey of a verse for them. But today I have become your father. Well, that means Yesterday that, he wasn't. He wasn't, right. right. So he's not the eternal son of God. Right. Wow. And so, Who would you know, have ever thought? Yeah, I mean, and again, that's how they translated it.